There's a partial eclipse of the sun on Saturday the 29th of March. It'll last a couple of hours and the good news is that in the UK it's a really convenient time of day, roughly between 10 a.m. and 12 noon. During a solar eclipse, what happens is that the moon moves directly between the Earth and the sun. That doesn't happen every month because the moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted compared with the Earth's orbit around the sun. But when that happens, it blocks out a bit of the light of the sun. And in this particular case, at least in the UK, roughly a third of the sun's light will be blocked by the moon. With this eclipse, it's really, really important to stress that even though a third of the sun's light is gone, it's covered up by the moon at its peak, it's still really dangerous to look at. You mustn't look at it with your naked eye. You mustn't look at it through a telescope unless you have the right kind of filters. Now, you'll probably know if you've got these. You can buy them from reputable astronomy suppliers. They must have the safety marks on them that indicate they're of the required standard. In other words, they will block out the vast amount of the sun's light that will otherwise damage your eyes. So, you know, I strongly recommend using that approach. You absolutely must look at it through a safe filter. Another method of observing the sun safely is to project it onto a screen. And you can do that in various methods. You can take, say, a pair of binoculars or a telescope and use a bit of card behind it. But do get good advice on how to do that. Um, once you learn it, it's fine, but there are risks there. You mustn't, under any circumstances, look through either the telescope or the pair of binoculars. But what we have here is a nice box system where the light is coming in through a simple telescope here hitting a mirror and then it's being projected slightly to the side so we can see the solar disk and also in this case we can actually see a few sunspots as well and on eclipse day what we'll be able to see very very easily this is just the bite coming out of the sun as the moon moves in front of it Partial eclipses like this are relatively common, but sadly in the UK, we're going to have to wait till 2081 if you're in the Channel Islands to see a total solar eclipse. And if you're on the south coast of England, 2090. So, you know, I'm not going to reveal my age, but I think it's fair to say that I won't be around to see either of those. Um, that said, if you're in Spain in 2026, in the right part of Spain at least, there happens to be a total solar eclipse then. So my guess is an awful lot of people are going to see that. Um, I certainly recommend it. You know, it'll be a great destination to see it. It's going to happen in the evening as well, so you might even have the enjoyable vista of watching a, a total solar eclipse, you know, while enjoying that glass of sangria.